Hey, Josie Shiraki with Equity Real Estate in Utah, home sweet home. And today I wanted to share a quick tip with you in regards to working with contractors. In my personal experience, one of the best things you can do with a contractor that will save you tons of time and money is to make sure that your communication to the contractor was clear. Okay, the biggest problem that I see with people working with contractors is miscommunication. So, one of the things that I like to do when I'm talking with the contractor is I like to ask them after I've finished telling them what it is that I want to do, I like to ask them to repeat back to me what it is that I said. And I don't say it in a way that I'm saying, can you please repeat back to me what I said because I want to know if you were paying attention. The way I word it is, Mr. Contractor, just to make sure that I explain this to you clearly, do you mind please repeating back to me what it is that you understood. So now you're putting the blame on you. If they didn't understand, you're putting the blame on you for not communicating it clearly. And it's at this point where you get to hear them repeat back to you what they understood and then you get to see if that's exactly what you want or don't want and correct them at this early phase, maybe to give you a more accurate bid or God forbid, um, you know, down the line after they've already done something completely different and now you've already spent money, they've already tore down a wall, whatever it may be, you get to learn at an early stage if they understood exactly what you want. And you'll be surprised how many people don't do this. It sounds so simple to simply ask the contractor to repeat back to you what it is that they understood. And so many people don't do this. And if they did, it would save them time and money. I have literally seen contractors who have painted the interior of a home and got the two colors backwards on what the bathroom color was supposed to be. Instead of painting the bathroom the color they were supposed to, they actually painted the entire house that color. And the house color, they actually painted the bathroom. They got their two colors mixed up because it wasn't uh, shared with them, at least in a way that was clear enough for them to understand. Maybe it got mixed up in their head somehow, whether they weren't listening or whether you miscommunicated it, if you just asked them to repeat it back to you, you would then learn, oh, no, 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 sorry if I said it wrong. That color is for the bathroom, not for the house. And then at this point, you're able to correct them, opposed to showing up to your home and realizing your whole house was painted the color of the bathroom. All right, guys, well, I hope this video is helpful to you. Just a simple little tip when working with contractors. We remodel a lot of homes every single year. And this is just a little tip that I personally even implement myself uh, because it saves me time, it saves me money. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to give us a call anytime if you have any questions. You can also ask us questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please give it a thumbs up. Again, it's Yoshi Shiraki with Equity Real Estate and Utah Home Sweet Home.